Are there any statements? I call the member for Cushing. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise today to inform the House about the wonderful work undertaken by the Sisters of Charity Foundation in my electorate. The Sisters of Charity Foundation is a non-profit organisation formed in 2000 by the Congregational Leader of the Sisters of Charity of Australia to promote its mission through funding community initiatives which benefit those less fortunate or with special needs. The Sisters of Charity Foundation sponsors and supports local initiatives across Australia that offer specialised services in a broad range of areas dealing with the poor and marginalised in society. As part of its mission, the Foundation aims to break the cycle of poverty by providing grants to community-based organisations. In 2012-13, the Foundation funded 39 projects, distributing $295,984. I'll outline some of the organisations and initiatives the Foundation has supported recently. The Foundation also provided financial support to the Tree of Hope program run by Catholic Care Community Services. Now, the Tree of Hope program provides emotional, spiritual and practical support to, to those living with HIV AIDS through the provision of home visits, telephone support and assisting, assistance with shopping and attending medical appointments. The immense challenges faced by somebody living with HIV AIDS are lifelong, although with the support of the Sisters of Charity I understand that the program has shifted from having a focus on care for the dying to having a focus on care for the living. This is an inspiring idea and I commend the work done by Catholic Care on this project with the support of Sisters of Charity. The Sisters of Charity Tertiary Scholarship Program provides disadvantaged young people who have lived in out-of-home care with the opportunity to attend university. According to the Foundation, shockingly, only 2.8 per cent of young people who, have, who have lived in out-of-home care will ever attend university. Compare this with 40.4 per cent of young people in their early 20s. Out-of-home care includes foster care, uh, kinship care, group homes and refugee, refuge accommodation, and as a last resort for young people uh, who cannot live safely at home. Those who are over 18 living uh, out of home, often get very, uh, very little assistance, leaving them to embark upon independent living, which often makes tertiary education mostly out of reach. So, in line with its mission to break the cycle which leads to social exclusion, the scholarship aims to give disadvantaged youth the opportunity to thrive and maximise uh, their fulfilment in life through education. There are currently nine students studying on the scholarship, including students from the University of Sydney, the University of Technology, uh, the University of Queensland, Australian Catholic University and the University of Notre Dame. They are studying a wide range of degrees including law, marketing and communication, sports science and nursing. I'd like to share with the House the words of Chantelle Bennett, who is currently studying a Bachelor of Nursing degree on a scholarship from the, at the Australian Catholic University. Chantelle said that, and I quote, the scholarship will help bridge the gap between what others with parents have had and what I have had. It will help me fast-track my path to become a registered nurse. It will also benefit my six siblings, showing them that goals and dreams are achievable. I want to prove to everyone, as well as to myself, that I am capable and determined. I'm really thankful and just know that my life has literally changed so much and forever was because of that money you have given me for the scholarship. Now, I recently discussed the important work of uh, the Foundation with its CEO and former member for Cabramatta, Reva Ma. Uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to, uh, in the House today, uh, could you matter? Uh, uh, in the opportunity in the House today to congratulate and commend the Sisters of Charity Foundation and its board of directors, led by Rich uh, Chairman Richard Haddock. I also acknowledge the Governor of New South Wales, Her Excellency Marie Bashir, for her work with the Sisters of Charity Foundation as its patron. Their contribution has provided a great amount of relief to some of the most vulnerable members of society who need a helping hand, and I thank them, thank them and commend them for all their terrific work.